Hello, viewers. Hope you're keeping well in Christ Jesus. This is the day that the Lord has made, and, and we, we shall rejoice and I'll be, be glad, glad in, in it. it. This is Catherine Folusho, and if it's your first time on this channel, kindly subscribe, press the notification bell, and drop a comment. Share with your friends, friends and, and family. family. Today, my husband is here with me. You want to tackle something here? Yeah, you're yeah, so yeah. welcome. Recently, my husband shared on his Facebook uh, a topic on the gospel of sonship and fatherhood is a deceptive form of enslavement, enslavement. and, and idolatry. I went to the comment section. What did you post? I posted uh, Matthew 23, 8. Yeah. And call no man your father upon the earth, for mm. one is your father which is in heaven. I checked through your reply. So someone, someone, someone posted, back. posted and said that uh, if this is your conclusion, mm. then it's also so, wrong to call even your biological father, father. 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 What I used to tell people is that uh, this our God, people should not look down on him in terms mm. of wisdom or knowledge or understanding because he himself is the wisdom. Yes. He himself is the knowledge. Yes. Yeshua is not talking about your biological father in this Matthew, in this Matthew. Uh, 23, 8. So one of my friends commented was like, bro, religion guys are going to come for you. I was like, okay, let's just see what Holy Spirit mm. have. But me, I know someone is going to be delivered. And we thank God that one lady was there in your... Yeah, there's in, one lady in, who came uh, who to comment saying that said it that, has uh, been troubling her so much. It has been much. troubling her so much it's that... that uh, you've tackled this. In fact, before she said it, she, she was like, uh, how about uh, Papa and Mama? I think you replied that this Papa and Mama thing is the same, 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 same issue. Day. I think there was a time one man of God like that, where if I approach him according to the title of his office, mm. he doesn't want to reply me until I say, Papa. Then when I find out, this man wanted me to be approaching him as a Papa. No, you are not my father. I only have one biology father. Mm. He's not there anymore. In case if you are here yeah. now, don't get me wrong. Mm. You can have a mentor. There is no problem yes. with that. You can have someone you listen to. Mm. You know, sometimes uh, revelation is in stage. I remember those days when I don't know much. So I do calls on pastor. I ask, I read this passage. I don't what understand does what, really does it, what does it mean. And I was young that time. And I have this sensitive spirit that I make sure I go to ask someone who I know he has no interior motive. Yeah, because mm. some, these guys, you have to be very careful with them. Some of them, once you ask them for an interpretation like that, they want to take advantage mm. of you. Of your now to, to your ignorance to make you now depend mm. on them. Who is going to take the place the of place Yahweh of in your, your life. life? Like what they do these days now in Africa, right here. I don't know about US, about um, Europe, all those countries. Things. But in Africa here, mm. the problem I have so much is that they want to own you control you that is why they and be entitled they, they be entitled they will ask you for your tight they will ask you for first fruit i i was there i've seen a man of god who asked me for tight on the same month tight first fruit prophetic seed uh special offering mm. i was like what and then after that, he said that uh, he need to put me under his spiritual covering covering on his I, I think the other time i was depressed because i got yeah. tired these are the problem we yeah. are talking about. Those entitlement. The entitlement. Uh, make them Some will even control your life, swing. control your way of prayer. This is how you should give your money. This is how you should dress. All those things. This is what Yeshua was saying. It is that Matthew. And a, it's yeah. Idolatry. About this religion. He knew because he's the God of yesterday, today, and forever. Mm. He knew now these things will mm. become trouble now. Yeah. This fatherhood and sonship uh, ministry. Mm. He knew. So we have to be very careful. One thing I know is that uh, no matter how old you are in ministry, I don't follow people stupidly and I don't listen to people stupidly. And one thing that we have right here in Africa mm. is the problem is that uh, they want to control you so that they be entitled to your finance. That is where the problem is. In the old days, those believers, it's all about believing in Yeshua and making this, this, this. God bless you.
So let's move on. Another comment that came that uh, how about uh, Paul or oh, Timothy? Timothy. Yes. What a study. He never called Timothy son just to enslave him. The way our religion the leaders does in our days. Yes. And Apostle Paul never make any doctrine. Mm. And he called him son because he was mentoring him. He was him. mentoring him. And One thing I love about Apostle Paul, mm. he was directing their heart to Yeshua. To uh, read for me first timothy chapter 2 chapter 2 verse 5 to 6 for there is one god one mediator between god and men the man messiah yeshua who gave himself as ransom mm -hmm. for all mm -hmm. the testimony mm -hmm. in its own times mm -hmm. to which yeah. i was appointed a preacher mm -hmm. and an apostle mm -hmm. i am telling the truth mm -hmm. in messiah not lying mm -hmm. a teacher of the gentiles mm -hmm. in faith, faith and, and truth, truth. We all have free will. But for me, I don't want any other person to instill his own ideology that will enslave me. Yeah. You remember what the, uh, the same Paul said that uh, we should be careful, careful. Be careful of the philosophy of men. Yes. Yeah. Because they are going to mm. come in their traditional, the traditional way and impose their own things mm. on you. Philosophy, and that, yeah. the problem I have in our generation is that... Uh, and they will think, oh, this man, you know, he hear from God. No, 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 no. He say it will come to pass after a while that I will pour my, my spirit, spirit upon, upon flesh. All, flesh, all flesh. All flesh, which has come to pass already. Yes. Which everywhere, not everybody have access to God directly. Direct. So I'm here to encourage every soul that is listening to us that, guys, please hear we first. And we only have one mediator, Yeshua. And then his spirit lives in us. us. The Holy Spirit. Yeah. Please don't allow anybody to lead you astray. Right. As true believers, mm. we should be more loyal to the word and teachings of Yeshua than to and anyone else in, in this world. world. That is true honor of Yahweh. God bless you. God bless you.